So this year I played a, a game called Kentucky Route Zero. Uh, I really did enjoy that game too, by the way. That was a, a, a pretty solid game. And yeah, it kind of reminded me of this movie. This movie reminded me of Kentucky Route Zero and Kentucky Route Zero reminded me of this game. Let's go ahead and talk about it. But before we get in this review, if you guys want to check out the Run Around to Hell I Come, you guys can. Link's down in the description below. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And for all you guys that already have, you guys are kick-ass. Definitely check that sucker out. So I know I might have sounded a little bit crazy comparing Kentucky Route Zero to this, uh, but what I meant by it is kind of just their adventure meeting all these different characters. This, honestly, this movie felt like a video game. The way they're meeting all these different characters and these different storylines, that's just really how Old Brother Where Out Thou feels, and I really do like the feeling of the movie. Uh, one thing, which this is no surprise to anybody, one of the biggest, biggest ups for this film is its cinematography. Uh, the cinematography, I think, is great, and the color grading, Color grading is amazing. I really did love the look and feel of this movie. And I think that uh, George Clooney, I think George Clooney was an awesome, I think the trio uh, themselves was a really good sort of mix with actors. Uh, I'm glad they didn't try to get like three of the biggest actors to play these characters. You can tell that they actually took time and, you know, auditioned the right characters. That's one thing that I really appreciate uh, because the chemistry between this trio of people is just absolutely just awesome. And I've noticed that trios actually do well in films. And another movie that I watched that had a trio in it was Stalker, and that's an Andre Tarkovsky film. And that one done really, that that's known as, you know, I don't want to say one of the greatest. I mean, I guess it is. But uh, but yeah, trios are, they, they go really good. I like, I'm a huge fan of dynamic duos. I prefer dynamic duos more than I do dynamic trios or I guess triumphant trios, I have no idea. But you can tell that the chemistry on set was really good between these actors and, and all the actors that they made in between. I mean, even John Goodman. I'm, I I know I've talked about John Goodman's uh, uh, role in this, not his performance, but his role. Uh, and I, I don't have a problem with his role. It's just uh, his you know performance in general like is fine, but I just didn't really care too much for the story arc. Uh, I, compared to his other roles in Coen Brothers films, I think they're a lot better. Uh, but I mean, this one is still fine. It fit the story. Just, I enjoyed the other ones a little bit more. And the screenplay and dialogue in this is awesome. I really do like how they included Dapper Dan into the film. I feel like Dapper Dan is kind of just this medium that just gets George Clooney's character going. And that's one thing I really like about it is I just, I don't know why, but it's so satisfying to see him put Dapper Dan in his hair. And I really want Dapper Dan because I use crew and I don't know, I feel like Dapper Dan would be a lot better on my hair. I know Dapper Dan is completely fake, but I don't know why. Looking at a Dapper Dan can is just really satisfying. Another reason why I kind of compare this to Kentucky Route Zero is because how they sing in the movie and stuff. I just think that's pretty cool. You know, they're just all singing, going down and up, down. And up. It's kind of goofy in a way. And it's not really, I don't want to say, it's not goofy in Kentucky Route Zero, but there are people that actually sing in that film. Or not, or in that film in that game. And I don't know why, it just kind of reminded me of that. Uh, but yeah, Old Brother Where Out Thou is just, I really did enjoy it. I think Old Brother Where Out Thou is great. I, it's not the Coen Brothers best film. That's still No Country for Old Men is just, I need to review that movie. And I probably will too. I'll, I'll probably get around to reviewing that movie. I really did enjoy Old Brother Where Out Thou. My final score is going to be an eight out of a 10. I thought it was great. Definitely check it out. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And if you guys want to check me out on Instagram, you guys can. That's where I post all my professional, personal, movie, gaming stuff, all that. And if you guys want to check me out on IMDb to check out my future projects, you guys can do so. And I am back on Twitch. Nothing serious, just, you know, I like to game and I don't talk about gaming stuff much on the channel here uh, besides, you know, my game of the year video and stuff. So it'd be fun to, you know, play with people and uh, just, you know, kind of talk in the chat about games because I don't get to talk about games that much. And it's, you know, kind of a nice little break from movies. Well, I don't need a break from movies, but I like playing games. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys next time.